All right, have and have not fans. It hasn't even been 24 hours from the time I put this poll in the community tab to when I'm recording this video. And we've almost gotten 700 votes and by a overwhelming percentage, I asked the question, which moment shook Veronica the most? When David pimp slapped her or when David threatened to kill her? And 23% with the, I had to pimp slap that bitch to 77%. Veronica, I'm going to kill you. And I think the numbers speak for themselves, and I would have to agree. If you ask me personally, I feel like the pimp slap broke Veronica. I mean, like literally broke her in terms of, he hit me. He hit me. I can't believe he really hit me. He hit me right there. Yeah, I mean, when you look at the fact that it went from this MF literally hit me after I said before we got married don't ever cheat on me and don't ever put your hands on me she went from you know just teasing David from going over to the house breaking shit setting stuff on fire you know the small stuff and it went from that all the way to okay you put your hands on me I want to go ahead and kill you because remember that car bomb that was meant for Erica and David not just Erica but then after getting the phone call that, you know, I'm going to kill you, she literally hung up, refilled that glass with some alcohol and just curled up in kind of a ball on the sofa. And RK was like, I told you not to call. So I, I guess I don't even know how to title this video, but it might be some along the lines of I feel like Veronica has finally considered David to be a real threat. It's not one of those things where, get out of here, Veronica. Don't push me. Don't stop. You're pushing me. This is a real, no, 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 no. I'm going to kill you. Like, the fun, the thing is, Veronica could blow up stuff. She can set stuff on fire. She can put hands on David. She can literally break his body. But when it came to breaking his heart, she knew that, okay, he ain't playing this time. He is going to retaliate. And we know this because if anything else that David has learned, it's like if I slapped her and she tried to kill me, that means the next time I strike her, it has to be permanent. And you knew he wasn't playing when he called Jim up and asked about the whole scenario about, um, do you know about these puzzle pieces where she has all these lawyers with incriminating damning evidence that can put all of us away if anything happened to her so the fact that him and jim are going to play you know are pretty much going on this search for the dragon balls if you will and find all these lawyers and you know get this intel i don't know if this means killing the lawyers or threatening them but i feel like if veronica has them wrapped around their finger uh, ran her finger they probably will have to threaten them or use lethal force because of the fact that they are probably in the same boat as um david jim and Catherine. where if we do something veronica doesn't like or we give this information away she's going to come after us in the same uh vein that she's going to come after you all so maybe some deals will be made i could definitely see that being uh, possibility here so david pretty much wants to make sure if i strike at her then she'll be in her grave and will never bother us again but in order to do so we need to make sure there's not going to be in the um we're not going to be hit by the splash zone so to speak so when something happens to her that's it we're done i think that means that he is literally not playing anymore so yeah that pimp slap was pretty much you know a culmination yeah i mean he went over to her house on false pretenses thinking that she was the one that damaged the condo when it was in fact justin but that pimp slap was so much more than just the condo thing the condo was the reasoning for him coming over the pimp slap came from all of the anger he's been festering for everything veronica has done not only to himself but to jeffrey and he said multiple times well, veronica stop pushing me basically after she kept shoving him it was just like, look, you're pushing me. Stop doing it. But when she kept doing it, boom. Well, that's pretty much the pimp slap. But in this case, she ain't playing. Because in both situations, she was, well, incredibly drunk with RK present. And it's funny how quickly she sobered up. Because the pimp slap, like I said, literally broke her mentally. But I feel like the whole 
I'm going to kill you. That literally pumped the brakes. Remember, she was laughing and teasing like, she got to your heart. She got you good. And she's a whore, a prostitute, just like Candace. And like, you know, like she did to Jim. Yeah, this is real. This, that literally broke him. It's one thing to break someone physically. But when you, like, like Big Worm said, Smokey, playing with my money, it's like playing with my emotions. Don't make me have to, you up. Yeah. David ain't playing. So with that being said, uh, yeah, what do you think? What moment do you think broke Veronica the most or spooked her? I feel like this was definitely it, David's threat, because she knows that, you know, he ain't playing. If he, Especially if he says something like that, which could mean that in the past, uh, Veronica and David have had maybe conversations where David has had to deal with people. And when he says that K word, kill, she knows he ain't playing. So, I mean, I don't think she would be shook if she didn't know what he was capable of. But she has yet to have that level of wrath from David pointed from someone else over to her. She has never been on the receiving end of his vengefulness. The pimp slap aside, I just think that Veronica knows David isn't one to be trifled with. So, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and I'll talk to you soon. Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen, you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also, you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also, be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you all in the next video.